Hi, my name is Jose. Welcome to my video tutorial on how to play bass in Irish traditional music. Today I will be showing you the steps that I personally follow when I am required to play in a studio setting to record an album or to play live. Irish music has a particular flow and character that makes it unique and to which the bass must adhere to. This means that, in my opinion, the bass player should be careful not to bring patterns or cadences from other styles, like, say, American country music or, or jazz. And this could be the trickiest part of the job. So playing bass in Irish traditional music the way I do involves teaming up with the guitar player to match the rhythmic and harmonic flow of the guitar to the extent that it makes musical sense. Irish musical sense, and everyone is happy with the results. Also, it is important to understand that sometimes you will create a bass line that matches the guitar flow very closely, and sometimes you will create a bass line that does not so much follow so closely, so it is up to your taste. The examples that I am bringing you today follow this idea. I have built bass lines that match very closely the way the guitar flows, you will see. So, in Irish traditional music, I personally prefer double bass to electric bass in both the studio and live settings. And the reason for this is that Irish, tradi Irish traditional music is mostly played with acoustic instruments, which do not have that electric quality, that, that sharp punch and tone of an amplifier. Acoustic instruments resonate in the ambient naturally without electronic means or volume knobs. So they all sound natural and at the same level. But there is good technology out there. In the case of recording in a studio, for example, you can use good microphones to pick up the natural acoustic, acoustic sound of the, of the double bass. Uh, in live settings, I recommend you use some of those mini condenser microphones that allow you to play without receiving feedback loop. They are a bit expensive, but worse, because they pick up the natural resonance of the body of the instrument. So, without further ado, let's start with the first example. So the first tune is a jig called Shius Hun Natro. It is in the key of A major and let's hear first how it sounds play on the fiddle. First, we have to understand that the chord sequence is created matching the implicit harmony that the notes of the tune suggest. For this, the guitarist or the busuki player, the mandola player, piano, whatever instrument, will carry a tune analysis and will build the chord sequence nicely adjusted to the tune. Then the bass line is created from that chord sequence in this tutorial, I am using a guitar. I have created a guitar sequence with a short intro for this jig. Every guitarist will come up with a different chord progression and a different rhythmic flow. And it is something quite interesting to do. So here is the initial mix.
Now let's create the baseline. As I mentioned before, the baseline is created from the chord sequence that we just made on the guitar, or whichever other instrument was played. To create the baseline, I examine the guitar chords and build a baseline that matches it rhythmically and keeps the intention. Then I write the baseline in notation, and I will use it in the studio or even in live settings. So the result is that the guitar and the bass both match and support the main melody really well, as you can see now in the final mix. So, in the case that I had to create the baseline in the studio, because, say, for any reason I never met with the guitar player before, or I could not have access to the guitar chord sequence, then I, uh, I approach him now and explain my strategy. I always ask the guitarist to show me the chord sequence so I can write the bass. This, of course, will take some time, depending on your skills. Remember to always have a few blank notation sheets in the base case and the pencil. And remember that the ideal situation is that you, as the bass player, build the bass line from the fixed guitar sequence. This means that ideally the best option for you is to work with the fixed guitar track. So you can let them record the guitar first and then you will take it from there, as I will explain in my following tip. So now let's work on the second tune. 